Greetings, ghoul cats, and welcome to Cast 2. I am Death Chicken. Jazz Chicken's not here. I've tied him up. He's in a basement somewhere. Right, back to the game. <laughs> and where are we now? Do I have some room for stuff? I don't. I need to put away the scroll. Put away the soap and the rag. So I have a clean rag, but what's it for? This rag is so fresh and nice, you can now wear it like a bib. Makes a great gift. Okay. Why do I need a rag? What what needed cleaning? I forget. Oh, yeah, just the the hedge clippers, but we don't need to clean that now. We'll drop that, and we shall drop this, and we shall drop the rag for now. We're at a barn. A trusty shell. Oh, God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, I need to put it away and make room. All right, fine. There we go. The graveyard is where we need that, so let's put that away. Don't th don't think I'll need the shovel here. There we go. Right, what else we got? This is a busted down wagon reminding you of the Wild West. There's no way this is going anywhere soon. Let's scout the perimeter first some trees. You reach into the hollow and pull out something small and metal. We have a ring. This small ring holds a rather large ruby. It's quite pretty. You wonder if it's valuable. Can I equip it? Ah, just there. Okay, fine. Wait. Can I remove the ruby and then have it like hit? Can I like do this? Ah. Makes me think I can maybe remove the gemstone and I've got a free power up. Branches creak and sway in the night air, making unsettling sounds. The dirt path continues through the yard into a large cornfield. It looks like farm equipment traverses often. Ooh, what's going on there? You see a flickering light coming from the clearing ahead. Someone has definitely been here recently. Rows and rows of stalks block out your vision to either side. You hear a gentle scraping from within the darkness. Are they velociraptors? I saw a big skull face. And a bat. Mostly a skull face. I missed. Out of my way, Bat. All right, let's go. Well, there's the shotgun and a lot more other stuff. Shotgun first. We now have a shotgun. Brother 23, or whatever they called that thing in the first floor, it it's way too dangerous to get through without keeping it pacified. It leaves us alone when we played music quietly. On the first floor, so I'm going to need a music box. The first floor of a big building, I suppose. Another gas canister. This gas can holds one gallon. It has less than a fifth left. Okay, so now I have two gas canisters. Why do I need two? Huge bonfire lights the small clearing, creating a warm oasis in a cold farmyard. Can I burn the doll? Can I do that? I wish to burn the doll. I might keep the, uh, the shotgun on me. I wish to burn the doll. The ring we'll put away. Uh, what was, what was this again? If 
find your way in a maze or on the road. We, we don't need that right now. <clears throat> These are kind of the maybe important bits. Weapons. I mean, maybe. I, I, maybe the shotgun. I don't know. I feel like I don't really need guns. <laughs> I could just smash things with hammers. <laughs> Uh, music box will be for first floor. It's like a tall building. So I guess if we find a tall building, then we can use guns. See if we can burn... Burn this doll. Huge bonfire lights, small clearing, blah blah blah. Ah, I can't burn the doll. What is in the silo? A trusty crowbar. And I can't put it anywhere. God damn it. Alright. You'd think I'd be able to rotate an object. <laughs> but I guess not. <laughs> Alright. Lots of corn. A massive mound of grain is piled on the floor. Could there be anything within it? Digging with your hands would take ages. Good job I found a shovel. And this is where a big monster will jump out and eat my pants and my face and my ears. <clears throat> Let's take this. Sorry, I've got a bit of a cold. So I, you might hear me trying to clear my throat from time to time. <laughs> ah, the coin is in the way. Why is this coin so big and yet when I throw it, it's so tiny? I swear, if I uh, just immediately die... There's a zombie. Hey Grim, how's it going? Can still feel the essence of five undead atrocities. Let us seek them out. Very well. Five more. See if there's anything else. Nope. Nope, that was everything. Okay. They're gonna be a minor. You made me jump. Okay. What do I do about that? All right. I didn't turn all the way around. It did allow me to turn around. So maybe I just needed to see what was behind me. That did make me jump. That was a good jump scare. Well done. Might be where that little scroll thing will come in handy. We'll try again. Literally like phasmophobia. Alrighty, so that is where this will come in handy. Uh, where are you? You. We need you. There's not really anything else that'll help here, is there? Hammers? No. A rubber hose? Uh, maybe. It's a kinky ghost? I don't know. All right, we'll, we'll go with that for now. Ah, 
Oh. Oh. There we go. Uh, but what? <laughs> what? What? What was I supposed to have done? That was meant to help me go through the maze, right? monster is also here. Yes, okay. I get you now. So you can actually... You can actually see the monster. Interesting. Interesting, Mr. Bond. Second floor. Does it mean the second floor of the barn? Do I need... Do I need the music box now? And if so, maybe I should take the shotgun too. Precautions. We'll take some precautions with us. to die now. It's a red skull! Bring it on! Ah! In your face. That allows me now to look at this. Left, follow it all the way up, and then left again. Actually, drink. Or should I use the scroll? I use the scroll. Ah, I guess. Hmm. Wait. Ah. Uh, it didn't really heal me 
by anything. I might need more in mind to heal for more. We'll have that then. Uh, and then we go here, and then we go this. Then... I'm okay with everything else. Ah! Wait a minute. Uh, gun. De re reload. Re reload. It's a shotgun, right? So it's gonna take a while to reload. <clears throat> Bring it on. Ow. Ow. Okay, I can't seem to... Huh, I can't dodge those attacks. What if I shoot the tentacles? I was trying to... I was waiting for the big mouth to open. That's what I was waiting for. Hmm. Maybe it's worth the sword and shield instead of the gun. Ah. Take that, baby demon. Ah. Baby demon slain. All right. Uh, okay. I now have a ball. Come on, I know you fit. I know you fit. I know you fit. Ah, you don't fit. <laughs> Let me nudge this to the side. There we go. Now you'll fit. This orb contains evil energies. You can feel its hatred screaming through your soul. There is a mass of some plant material in the core of the room's unnatural growth. Huge tendrils grow outward from some kind of root mass in the middle of the room. Okay, I don't have the scroll to just simply escape, so we'll make our way back out. Right. Okay. There we go. Still going to need it. I'll keep playing this. I don't know if it helps.
Give me your experience. Ah, this is the deadly part, right? I could just die here, couldn't I? We'll just make a run for it. Ah! <laughs> Success! All right. Oh, I've got a thing. Uh... Hmm. Maybe I should start upping health, I think. And speed. Do I now have an orb, do I? Where to now? Back to the garage, I think, to top up the potion. So, to go there, we must go right. Let's go where the skull is. So we go right, right, follow it all the way round, and then right. Tiny length of chain hangs from the pegboard. Whatever was attached to it has broken off. All right, first off, let's uh, get get that. I'm gonna drink it, and then we'll fill it again. There we go. And then we get the chainsaw. I wonder if I have limited uses. This wooden crate seems like it might have something in it, but upon looking inside, nothing but cobwebs. All right. Guessing this needs fuel. Bit rusty, but this chainsaw feels like it can tear through almost anything. Fortunately, it has no gasoline, which I now have. Locked in the nick of time. All right, gasoline, there's the gasoline. Chainsaw has fuel, but not much. It will probably only run for a minute or two. So I have to use it very sparingly, I guess. I guess for a boss fight. Can I use, what about this? No, okay. Uh, let's see now. Still a lot of stuff. I have no I no idea what to use it for. Um, rubber hose and the cloth. I don't know. Grasping at straws. Nope. Hmm. Uh, while we're here, let's take the shovel. We'll dig up some graves, shall we? Let's do a bit of grave robbing. didn't find any music notes, so don't know what to put in there just yet. As you dig, you begin to unearth a large, dirty plastic bag. Let's uh, get this for now. It's a huge, dirty plastic bag in a hole. It is tied at the top. Some person or creature has been skinned alive and tossed in this bag. You feel you should just put it out of its misery. Shut up. 
Give me that key. Why does he have a key? What what is it that's locked and needs a key? And I put it here. Ah. Can I uh, do this? No. Okay. Well, that was random, I guess. <laughs> What's in the next coffin? It's a zombo. All right. One moment. <laughs> Die, zombie. Soon to level up. I won't. Uh, I won't bother healing myself. So there's four left. Is there four left now? Four. Yes. Okay. All right. Guess we'll try and level up. That'll heal us. While we're here, let's have a look around. I mentioned a car crashing into the... Oh, hello, this thing. The door is locked and has a big star-shaped hole in the center of it. There we go. Level up. Full health. Wonderful. Uh, star-shaped hole. We don't have anything star-shaped. Supposedly something in the sea, like a car. Or in the pond. The lake, whatever. You know what I mean. Alright, so we're gonna put this on power again. Full power! I could go full power right now. It is very tempting. But I think everything else is kind of fine. I mean, health, I can I can put that up there. I've been good with health. Ah, let's, let's put it on power. Full power. And this is where we must end. Thank you, everyone. Ah, got the game. Stop. 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 And game. <laughs> I was hoping it was quiet like it was before in the menu, but it decided to keep playing the music. Thank you, everyone, for coming by. Stay tuned for more Curse 2. And have a happy Halloween. Try not to be possessed in the night. Try not to let any ghosts phase through the walls and enter your brain. Try not to be eaten by zombies or ghouls. Try not to have a spell cast on you. And most of all, I will catch you ghoul cats later. Ha, 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 ha.